I kept poking around. I didn't think that answer was that, Max. Damn. Detective, I'm not answering any more of his questions. What the f happened to the telescope, Maxine? <laughs> what do you mean? Come on. So? About me, Miss Caulfield. Where do I fall on the bike? Oh my god! <laughs> I'm gonna know this whole song by the time I'm finished playing this game. <laughs> This song is so good. Anyway, I've been so excited to get back to this. I ain't even finished editing episode two yet, but I'm gonna just get right into it. Oh my gosh, I can't believe what just happened. That was crazy. So how is Moses gonna react to us? Like, is he even gonna? Well, I mean, obviously he's gonna be avoiding us. I can't imagine him trying to hear us out. If he does, he's a real MVP. Wait, no, nah, I kind of like that. That looks good. I'd never switch to the outdoor. Um, yeah, begin chapter. All right. Oh, all right. This makes about as much sense as it did last night. Mm -hmm. Let's take a look at the evidence for the kajillionth time. I've got to be missing something. I know. No matter what that photo of me suggests, there's no way I shot Sophie. Okay. So I forgot exactly what I said last episode. So like my theory about I what Hey, okay. Max, camera. let me talk. Gosh dang. <laughs> but I was saying that like these like I guess alternate versions of them from different timelines or whatever seem to be set on like ruining their lives because think about it because like Gwen's maybe that photo of me has a clue I'm missing because Gwen's doppelganger came and was giving kids drugs got her um you know messed up on, on leave um Lucas's doppelganger came and told uh his son that like uh uh you're the reason we're divorced or I whatever need a better look at that photo from Safi's camera and Max came and shot Safi. But how many doppelgangers are coming and ruining their lives? And why do they want to come and ruin their own selves' lives? Like, that that's where I'm not getting it. Where is what is the motive for them wanting to ruin their own lives? Kind of, because that's what, what I see happening. And if that's the case, what is Safi's doppelganger doing? What did Sophie's double anger do? But also, who is going at the time? I can only assume it's Max that started it. I need a better look at that photo. Because the Sophie's camera. The time gosh dang Max, the time Ripple happened when um 
Safi got shot. So somebody, which I can only assume is Max, did something right then. And that divided the timelines, right? Maybe that photo of me has a clue I'm missing. Bro. Okay, fine. Fine. Is that me? Did I go back in time and do that? Oh. It doesn't make any sense. And I would never hurt Safi. Not on purpose. Yeah. That isn't me. It can't be. There's also that flash drive from Gwen. Maybe something on there will crack the case wide open. I had to see what's on it. Okay, let me watch it. Dang. If it's corrupted, I'm gonna be pissed. Hold on. Okay. She's looking right at the camera. Like she knows it's there. Does she want to get caught? Yeah, like I said, these doppelgangers are trying to ruin people's lives. I mean, their own lives. Or is this another doppelganger? But like, why? Maybe if I go object by object, an answer will jump out at me. Well, that's what we're doing. Ari's looked None at it. Of this is adding up. Why would Gwen want to be caught? Why on earth did Gwen cancel Sophie's book deal? Didn't she help her to get it in the first place? So maybe that was. Wait, no. The doppelganger Sophie did something to make Gwen want to do that, I think. I think that's what happened. Or maybe Sophie's not the person who we think we are, like I said in the last uh, episode. Before Sophie died, Gwen got her book canceled. And I still don't know why. But that doesn't mean she killed Sophie. Plus, dead world Gwen seems genuinely torn up over her death. Yeah, the Gwen theory has some holes. Whoever did this had to go to so much trouble. Vin definitely knows more about the cow skull than he's letting on. Plus, nope. there was that photo of him and Safi canoodling. But what does that even mean? <laughs> canoodling. I read the beginning. It's annoyingly good. Oh, it is? Unfort Restraining oh. Order Lucas said Safi once threatened to turn his son against him. That certainly implies some bad blood in their past. But that Lucas was scared of Sophie. Not out for revenge. Nope. None of this is conclusive enough. Girl, the only... It, it seems like you... Because I don't think that's Photoshop. That was definitely you, Max. Just not current you. Maybe if I go object by object, an answer will jump out at me? Moses... When this is all over, I'll play as many games of Mana Massive as you want. I swear. Yeah, if he wants to. Coffee. Coffee is friend. Get coffee now. I don't know what she was about to say. I kind of missed that. Dang. No matter how much I stare at you, he refused to make sense. Moses? Do you really think Moses came back to talk to you? Probably cops. Hello, Miss Cole. Yep. Oh, fuck. Can I come in? The photo. If he sees that. Oh, the way. Let me. Whoa. Whoa. I have some questions for you. Uh, I feel like okay see like I said last episode I'm pretty sure I made a mistake in not agreeing last episode right but I just didn't want to look bad in front of Moses I wasn't going to get information regardless but okay what do you want to know of course I I can answer your questions right here 
Well, why did you just walk into my house? A nice change of pace since yesterday. I appreciate the cooperation. Why are you walking up in here? Lord Jesus. Girl, pick up that dog on photo. Just a few details I'm struggling to make sense of. Oh gosh, what? Go ahead. Move that bowl, girl. Acadia Bay, where you went to high school, right? Um. Yes. Beautiful town with a surprisingly violent story to tell. Not unlike Arcadia Bay and Safi are not connected. A whole town wiped out by a freak storm. What do you think, Miss Caulfield? Are you the one who's unlucky? Or is it just everyone who ever meets you? What are you trying to? Bro, what are you trying? What are you trying to say? Go fuck yourself. Oh. Arcadia Bay has nothing to do with Safi. Oh, what? I didn't. Ooh, there it is. Oh, That's my nice. gosh. I knew I'd find one if I kept poking around. I didn't think that answer was that, Max. Damn. Detective, I'm not answering any more of his question. What the fuck happened to the telescope, Maxine? <laughs> oh, what the? Uh. Oh, what do you mean? I, I don't even know what you're talking about. Someone was in the office with me. I could hear them. I saw Moses in the hallway, but I didn't see you. All right, enough. We're not getting anywhere. This case has been abnormal from the beginning. None of the evidence makes any sense. At least that's something we can agree on. But I know why now. You know why? Somehow. All this death leads to you. Oh my gosh, sir. Girl, girl, girl. He saw it. He saw the photo. Stupid, Max. Stupid, stupid. What the hell do I do now? Girl, oh my gosh. You should have been moved that bowl up on that photo. None of this makes any sense. What happened that Like, while he was turned around, you should have lifted it up quietly and put it on a photo. The old me would have just... Jumped back in time to the moment this photo was taken. I can't believe she went off on him like that. That's not what I was expecting. Maybe. Maybe I still could. Girl, do you want to? going on oh my gosh max oh that's way off hold up oh, hold up hold up there we go 
Oh my gosh, I'm not excited for this. Oh. So that's what it feels like to capture the perfect photo. <gasps> feels good. Final. Sophie. Here too. But there wasn't a storm the day Sophie died. Maybe we are cursed. You, me, and Maya. Who is we? Wait, what? What are you talking about? Sophie, how did we get here? What happened? This. Tell me how to stop this. What do I have to do? Pull the trigger. That was not helpful at all. Did I ask the wrong questions? <laughs> so there's something going on with Sophie. But that explained absolutely nothing. I... What? No. No, that wasn't enough time. The show was not. You're not gonna be able to go back, are you? Nope. everything is he even gonna talk to you max like look okay like i said he must be the real mbv mvp if he finna listen to you what is that oh it's art project Wow, Moses, wow. Don't think I'll forget you trying to embarrass me in front of Dr. Hunter anytime soon, Miss Caulfield. Bro, what? Only X because whatever was that urgent had to be important. It, it have anything to do with Sophie's death? Silence is his only answer. Max, thanks for the tip. Oh my gosh. All right. Jeez. I'm sorry, I'm sitting here just looking at this in silence. Moses is really, wow. Okay, Mo, you know what? Moses is waiting for me up there, hopefully. Wait. That was.
Yeah, I'm holding a gun. What's more incriminating than that? But I would never hurt Safi. There has to be a better explanation, right? I saw myself. That's me. I killed my best friend. Yeah. Yeah, Moses saw that photo of me. He thinks I killed Safi. I rewound. Yeah. Safi has a book deal for her poetry, and she's so excited about what it means for her. Safi and Yasmin seem so proud of Safi's book deal. Okay. Rumor has it there was another girl killing Do I have Okay. And this vibrating when I walk over here be making me nervous. Okay, I don't know why, but that's a shifting point. I have This is where the police tape was yesterday. Did the cops take it down on Alderman's orders? Was you, what else was you gonna say? Okay, I missed it. Oh well. Let me walk up here so I don't miss nothing else she's trying to say. Or not. Dang, Max. He's not here. Yet. Let's give him a few minutes. Maybe wait on the bench. <sighs> okay. I don't, he said he spoke to you. What did you say to him? Please tell me you didn't say anything to jeopardize this case. He's under pressure. I imagine he's under a lot of pressure right now. Not nearly enough. They say the first 48 hours are critical and we're 12 hours past that. Oh. Look at the journal. I know what you would have said. Let it burn, Max, and trust me. I wanted to, just as much as I wanted to know what was on that flash drive. Yeah, I know I can't fix everything, but I had. But if I can help Gwen, I have to try, don't I? I would have been clearly anticipated backup in his investigation. I wasn't going to be the one to help him, and if he hoped to drive a wedge between me and Moses by asking for my help, then he only ended up making our bond stronger it seems like he's used to things on his way he tried to act nonchalant but i could tell he was annoyed i wish he'd focus on figuring out what happened to Sophie instead of playing mind games well Hollerman knows about my powers he forced his way into here and scared the shit out of me maybe if i pretended i was on his team he wouldn't have busted in here like that but i doubt it yeah that's what i was thinking worst thing is he saw the photo and just smiled at me Pfft. he's plotting something but i don't know what to do how do I stop a cop? Chloe. Later, the strangest shit happened. My old powers came back and I saw what happened with Safi. I did do it. I don't know how, but I can't let this happen. It feels like I'm running in circles and I don't know how to make it stop. Yeah, I was like, girl, you definitely did it. I just don't know why. I can take a snapshot. I know Safi would have something poetic to say about this. If only. Like, this is so... If I didn't know what used to be here, I'd find this really beautiful. Might as well gather my thoughts before Moses gets here. My new dad? All right. Stay the fuck away from me. What if he doesn't come? I couldn't blame him. I killed his best friend. Yeah. What does that say about me? That I... Any version of me could do something like that? I don't know, girl. But it happened. And I guess you're gonna find out why. He's probably not coming. Mm. This 
bears in the trees. I didn't notice that. He's actually coming. Diamond knows where I am and who I'm meeting. So don't do anything stupid. I deserve that. You wanted to talk. So talk. Are you gonna even believe me, man? Tell me the truth. Tell me why you did it. Bro, I don't even know. I haven't done it yet. That's not true. I don't think so. Yeah. You were right. I shot Sophie. But I can't tell you why because I don't know the answer myself. No reason you could give would be good enough. Moses, wait. I asked you to come here so I could show you proof. Something is weird about this place. Look. These flowers. What are the odds they bloom in the middle of winter? Exactly in the shape of Sophie's body? Five minutes and then I leave. Okay. So, what if I told you there's this other timeline where Sophie is alive and I can travel between this timeline and that one four minutes i know i know that it sounds insane but i can show you i can you I'll, I'll hop from this timeline to the other you'll see me poof will he i don't know about yeah, that to some magical fantasy world where you didn't kill safi right it's not a fantasy world it's connected to this one if i try to i can even see the other one from here wait you can see across them? And here, too. So if you disappear or whatever, and I do something while you're gone... I can tell you what it was when I come back. And then... you'll believe me? It'd be a start. Okay. All right, man. Okay, deal. All right. There's a chance Moses will believe me. First, I gotta hop over to the other timeline. Oh, wrong button. Now to see what Moses is up to on the other side. I always gotta prove that we got powers. Shit. I think Moses is too stunned to do anything. Let me j I shouldn't leave yet. Oh, okay. Girl, where are you? Oh, he's right there. Shit. I think Moses is too stunned to do anything. Let me jump back over to make sure I didn't break him. Okay, so I actually disappeared. Let me check my messages, though. So, uh, Carla, maybe? I thought that, but even with the combined might of science department, it would have taken an hour and, and change. That is freaky. X Files thing. Marley. Sure, it was an alien. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay. Some of that was definitely directed at me. Because your rooms have the decency to respect my privacy at the time. So sorry. Okay. Alright. We're jumping, jumping, jumping. We're jumping, jumping, jumping. So we actually disappeared. Max? 
Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. <laughs> I'm sorry if I upset you. Upset me? Are you kidding? You did something physics says should be impossible. Is impossible. So you... You believe me? Yes. And... No. You disappeared. Max, literally. I completely forgot to do anything. Okay. Let's try it again. <laughs> Ready when you are. Moses is so cute. Oh my gosh. Okay. Let's try this again. Hmm? Huh? Wait, where is he? All right. He's standing with his hand in the air and two fingers on his um, temples. And check cross out. Uh, that's great. Who was sworn by a flock of owls by Overlook? Some, uh, weird. Don't forget to come roast me at the Snapping Turtle tomorrow. I gotta peek at the jokes and they're lit. Oh no. Alright. I got you, Moses. Well, what is that over there? What is that? What is that? I shouldn't leave it. Okay, I was just trying to see what that was. Dang, girl. Okay. Where's the thing at? I know this camera work is awful, man. Yeah. What did I do when you were away? <laughs> He's so cute. And then you said. I don't know what he said. I didn't even see it. Girl, I'm finna look this up. Cause like, hello? <laughs> I'm looking this up. Man, I don't know what he said. Which is Psychic Storm. Machine Angel Psychic Storm. Um. Oh, I was right. The Holy nope. Spirit told me so. <laughs> That's what I did. Wow. I mean, because I couldn't find yeah. it. Near as I can tell, Sophie's death is where the timeline split. Yep. I think her absence is the only difference between the two. I guess that could be a big enough event to lead to. You okay? So Sophie's alive over there, huh? Yeah. She is. And she's... Don't say happy. We both know that would be a lie. You're right. When you see her again, can you give her something for me? <laughs> Bottle cap? How did you... Safi slipped it back to me that night. Found it in my equipment. Can you give that to her? Tell her... Tell her to stay safe, Max. Make her swear to it. I will. I will. Promise. But I think she's going to need our help. What do you mean? When I was a teenager, I could... Rewind time. Just raise my hand and undo everything that had just been done. Okay. You can't do it now, though. And if I had a photo, I could go back even farther. Wait. Could. Yep. Past tense? Can't do it no more.
Yeah. Turns out when you try to change the past, you don't actually fix anything. Sure. But what if the best way to fix things isn't changing your past, but rather changing your present? How dare you bring logic <laughs> to my pity party? <laughs> Point is, I stopped using it, and now it barely works. Okay, but there's a photo of you from that night with a gun. Yep. You're saying that could be the future you? Even though you can't do that anymore? This morning I tried rewinding into that photo. It felt like trying to flex an atrophied muscle. Nothing made sense. But I was there in the past. Sophie mentioned Maya and oh god. The storm. Max? Look. There's a timeline where for some reason I shot Sophie. This one. And there's a timeline where I didn't. I feel like intentionally or not these two worlds exist because of a decision I'm going to have to make holy shit <laughs> Moses I've been here before when I could rewind it broke time people got hurt I can't let what happened in Arcadia Bay happen here too First look at the crime scene is inconclusive. I'll need some further insight into Miss Llewellyn Fayette's mental state. Not to call a shot prematurely, but if this isn't suicide, I'd put money on a Mr. Moses Murphy, friend of the deceased, being the perp. I need to introduce myself to Mr. Murphy. He's talking like he hasn't already met you. Like he's... Alderman from yesterday. An Alderman that already happened? Max, this is really bad. But yeah, and then they can both see it. Time isn't supposed to act this way. It appears something was removed. Yeah, because what's his name person. said that he saw himself up here. Maybe the camera her mother mentioned. We need to get the hell out of here. <gasps> Fucking Whoa! Hold up! Yo, work with us, man. To the scene of the crime. Amateur hour. Shit. <laughs> I mean, how'd I let a couple of small-time fuck-ups like you get under my skin? Bro, what do you want? What do you want from us? I thought. I wanted some evidence. Close this fucking case and celebrate with a nice cigar. And then I got my evidence. That little photo of you with the gun. And you know what I realized? Not a fucking soul would believe me. Thanks. Yo, let's just, oh. You're going to pay for what you've done. Wait. And I'm here to collect. Oh, are you seeing yourself? <laughs> yep, he's seeing himself. Oh no, nah, man. Oh heck no. Nah. Oh my gosh. He about to be messed up. 
sir. <gasps> Whoa! Wait, wait, wait! Why would you reach out and touch him? Yeah, I'm finna help you. Oh! Wait, why'd you grab me? This better not be a choice. Wait, what are we watching out for? Yeah, I'm helping him. Hello? Talk about save yourself. I'm helping him. Wait! Oh my gosh! What the hell just happened? Did he just die? Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! I could have saved him. I don't. I don't. You couldn't have. Yeah, I was about to say. I don't think so. Listen to me, Max. This place ate a man. Oh no! Moses, Get out of here, here, Moses. There's always a cost. Damn! Started with Safi. Maybe if we can figure out why you, why she died. It's because he touched me, isn't it? We can prevent all this. That's what I've been trying to do. The whole day I've been oh, talking gosh. to people, spying on them, and taking their stuff. Hey, Safi mentioned Maya, right? When you rewound. Right. What do you think Maya has to do with all this? No idea. I was before my time. But I guess I should try to save Gwen myself. Gwen might know more than me. She was Safi's mentor during all that mess. Gwen, gotta go talk to Gwen. Yeah, even though Gwen freaking hates me. I'm still shaking. Alderman was, and then he just wasn't. And Moses and I were standing so close. But I'm here now. I'm here. I'm all right. That was interesting. Okay, talk to Gwen, see what she knows about Maya. And while I'm at it, I'd like to know why she killed Sophie's book deal. Jeez. Uh, hey Max, I know it's been a beautiful evening, a morning, and I'm still parsing it all, but I had a quick question. Are you able to get my text when you're in the other timeline? I'm trying to grasp the sin of. Nah, I can't. Doesn't look like I can't, no. Okay, cool, that's a big help. I'll be in touch a little later when I've made some inro inroads into what happened earlier. Oh my gosh, man. I hate that that just happened. I just probably messed up Moses trying to save that detective. Uh. Cool. I'm a tired sun. Sleepy moon. And exhausted rising. <laughs> Okay. Man, wait. Phone notes. I don't know if that was that doppelganger because he's from the past. Or, you know, I don't know. Okay, so what just happened, Moses? Are you gonna explain that? I could have saved Alderman. I could have saved him, couldn't I? I was 
so close if only moses had it should moses say about life he didn't know what would happen neither of us did but he leapt in anyway it's been this long time since i was the one being pulled from a bad end by someone else who knows what would have happened to me if moses hadn't stepped in we've bonded in a way only near death experience can gotta hope moses is all right please let him be all right please i'm sorry moses i just thought i could help him honestly I really did, since that was Audrey, the options. I'm worried about Kim. So am I. None of my sharing your story isn't what I'd call it. Last time we spoke, Kim said she didn't want to go out. Okay, I so what's the what's the objective talk to Gwen? She's depressed. Well, where is Gwen? Well, she told me she was busy. Gwen's office. Let's see what I can find out from her. She's not here. Old school. Nice. Let's just take a regular photo. Um, let's not post that. Girl. Oh my gosh, get me out of here. I can't. <laughs> Whatever. We're not even supposed to be in here. Why are you trying to post it? More music I'm not cool enough to know. It's alive! A black rose? Pretty morose. Oh, okay, you're right here. I did not freaking see you, girl. I thought you wasn't in here. It takes me ages to comment on one student photo. I can't imagine having to grade exams. Happy holidays to my favorite prof. I don't think a happy holidays is in the cards. Well, hello, Gwen. Is that Sophie's book? Hey, Gwen. Max. No conversations for you to conveniently overhear this time. Sorry to disappoint. Actually, I need to talk to you about Sophie. I'm gonna try not to get on Gwen's bad side this time. No reason to beat around the bush. I know you got Sophie's book deal canceled. What I don't understand is why. You really have a knack for learning shit you're not supposed to know. <laughs> right? so I've been told. Oh gosh. Well then. No use fighting the inevitable. The inevitable. What do you want to know? Oh, okay. How? How did you convince the publisher? So, what did you tell the publisher that made him nix the deal? I... I told them there was incendiary content in the book. And what does that mean? Which was true. It would have harmed a lot of people. Safi included. Yeah, see, that's what... It had to be something in the book. So she said it would have harmed Sophie, so that's why. But what 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 was it then? Sophie's book was incendiary. How? What was it about? You really don't have an off switch, do you? Um. Uh, okay. Are you gonna answer or not? How much did Sophie tell you about Maya Okada? Gwen, bringing up Maya. Time to pay attention. Safi never mentioned her. I'm gonna be real. Maya Okada? Safi never mentioned the name. Hmm. She always did keep her cards close to her chest, didn't she? The two of them were like the creepy twins in The Shining. You never saw one without the other. And that uh, Ben Lang kid used to follow the two of them around like a lost puppy. Oh. But then. 
Maya took her own life. And that's what Safi wrote about in her book? Maya's death and everything around it. Her anger at her mom for even thinking of Caledon when she'd just lost a soulmate. Ultimately, I realized it wasn't worth putting Yasmin and Safi through all that again. Oh. Made a call. I don't know if it was the right one, but it's one I made. Well, sounds like Yasmin can tell me more about Maya. I'll have to be tactful. Oh. I'll ax, I guess. That book meant the world to Safi. You had to know that losing it would break her heart. Of course I did. I busted my ass to help Safi get that deal in the first place. Yeah. Introduced her to my agent, my publisher, lobbied for her. I don't regret it. That book was good. This keeps getting weirder and weirder. Let me get this straight. You helped Safi get the deal. <laughs> We're going backwards here. And then but... you killed it? If it had to be done, it made sense for me to do it. You know, I brought you into this world, etc. Okay. One last thing. Is that Safi's manuscript? Well, part of it, why? Can I read it? No. That's where I draw the line. I don't trust you not to dig up old graves. Oh, what do you mean by that? Jesus. I've spilled too much already. Let's call this conversation over. Huh? All right, I'm gonna leave you alone then. All right, Max, are you finna snoop and get it? You are. Shit. Now I'm even more convinced there's something important in that manuscript. <sighs> My gosh, Max. How do I get my hands on a copy? Clearly you want me to, okay. Okay, so I started digging, a little digging into the Alderman situation and it's already weird. Apparently neither Vermont State nor Lakeport PD have any record of a detective Vincent Alderman ever. Oh, that is weird. How can they have no record of him? They sent him. Oh, that's scary. Like, he just, so, yeah, he just doesn't exist anymore. Hey, fit us off here, we'll hook it up, it's off you. Oh my god, oh, is it fitting on my too? Yeah, too. Gwen said Vin used to follow Sophie and Maya around like a puppy dog and that Yasmin would have more information. All right. So they took her computer, probably going through it right now. Will Gwen be allowed to come back for these? Guess we'll see. I imagine she probably took the manuscript to be real. I hope somebody is coming in to water you guys. Preferably someone who doesn't have to break in through an alternate dimension. If I'm lucky. Maybe this Gwen left Sophie's manuscript behind. I think I doubt it. Oh, she did. Okay. Gotcha. Put it in your bag. Reading Sophie's manuscript after all this feels like, I don't know, being hit by a tidal wave. A million miles beneath my feet, she lies still in her Sunday clothes. We killed her with our own hands. I mean, our lack of hands. I kill her with my voice. I mean, my lack of voice. Maya's book was like a child or a tumor or a rising beast within her. 
On the first page, she wrote that she was drowning, and by the time she finished, she was drowned. Uh, laws of physics. The drowned always surface. What isn't spoken still exists. You can chop her up and sell her for parts, but her ghost remains whole, floating there in a corner of my kitchen. Giving me that familiar look. That one that says, unstitch the binding. Let the pages fall out, fluttering like birds, shot down. The one that says, take him for everything he's got, and then some. Okay. Whatever happened with Maya was explosive. Let's see what Yasmin has to say about her. This morning I attempted to call the student resources access and why your classes for the rest of the semester. I had to cancel it out so oh, out of business. Then I tried calling the president. She didn't even pick up the phone. Then I walked up to Mr. Ray's the custodian and he told me he witnessed you being removed by security and that you've been suspended for unsuspicious selling drugs to students. I won't insult you by asking if you're guilty. I'll just wish you the best and tell you that you're the best teacher I've ever had. My student visa only lasts for another semester, but if there's anything I can do, or if on some off chance you're ever in Bangkok, Bangkok, look me up. Bangkok? I don't know how to pronounce that, my bad. Oh. New recording. Apologies for the stationery. It was only, it was the only thing within reach. I believe I speak for all of us when I say this is unacceptable, and you can count on our support for the hearing this week. If you're looking for a lawyer, I can recommend a decent one. We're going to fight this squid. Oh, <sighs> you will be avenged. What's that talk to? You gonna let me exit? No, it said talk to. Didn't I say talk to living world, Yasmin? Yasmin? So, you gonna let me get out of here? Or what? Like, do I need to get out of the office first? I guess so. That would make sense. I can't just walk out of the office. Silly me. Would you mind closing it behind you, Max? Okay, she's right there. Sorry, Yasmin, but I'll need to interrupt your downtime with some questions. Sugar and spices in my latte? Yes. Eggnog? No. Okay, time for a delicate conversation. Let's hope and pray Hi, that Maxine. I do this right. Maxine, how are you? I was worried after your nosebleed yesterday. Like I said, I get those all the time. Still. Be careful. Small symptoms can be signs of larger problems. A toothache can mean a heart attack. Oh gosh. I'm gonna Don't make me try not to think about that too hard. Right, like um I was hoping we could talk. Come, sit. Um, you're in a good mood. You look like you've won the day. Coffee's that good? Our ratings are. Kaladin is once again one of the top universities in the country. The coffee is just so so. <laughs> Seen Sophie Have you today? Seen Sophie today? No. We're meeting later this afternoon. I can tell her you were looking for her. Okay. Will Gwen be fired? I heard about what happened to Dr. Hunter. Yes. Would you really fire her? That depends.
depends on the findings of the committee. It's out of my hands now. Did Safi tell you her book deal was cancelled? What? No. How... How, uh, was she when she found out? Not sure, but I bet she was devastated. Oh, Safia. I'll be sure to talk to her about this. Who, uh, will you now? Let's talk about Maya. I wanted to ask you about something. Have you heard of a student named Maya Okada? Of course. She took her own life. Four years ago. A horrible tragedy. I think... I think Safi's book was cancelled because it was about Maya. <laughs> Impossible. Impossible? Safi didn't even know Maya. What? Did Yasmin just lie to me? Do I call her out? She'll be pissed, but I can cut straight to the point. Or should I go along with it and see what narrative she's trying to spin? I... I don't know what to do here. Because I'm like... What if in this world they weren't close friends but that doesn't make sense i think everything else should be the same besides Sophie being alive go along with it i call her out will i get any information with her out of her park go along with it dang it okay i feel like my brain is, is screaming at me to call her out i'm so sorry i hope i feel like i keep making enemies to says Sophie and Maya were joined at the hip. You had to have known that. Are you implying I'm lying? Girl, I, I'm just staying the fact. I'm not implying anything. But I've seen Sophie's manuscript. It's explicitly about what happened to Maya. Oh, so you're an expert now. On Safia's past. Never mind the the context, the circumstance. Safia had nothing to do with what happened to Maya Okada. Whatever else may be true, that is the bottom line. Okay, we're not trying to insinuate she had anything to do with what happened to her. What happened was messy and painful. You're Safia's friend. Surely you understand the need to protect her from rumors and gossip. All this over rumors? If it's just rumors, what are you afraid of? Rumors are ammunition to those who want to see you fail. Because you're a woman. Because you're Arab. Because you're a single mother. Because, because... Frankly, it shocks me you don't realize this. Vin understood immediately. What does Vin have to do with this? Obviously, you won't stop digging. So go ask him yourself. Wow, I guess I should talk to Vin. Why did she just try to lie to me? I, I don't get that. Yeah, all right. That was kind of weird. What happened to Maya predates me, but Safi told me once that Vin did make a statement after she died. Hang on. He said Maya was an incredibly talented writer, but she also had mental health problems. We tried to get her the help she needed, but that didn't work. If we'd known it was as bad as it was, we would have done more. Does that help? It does, Moses. You're a gem. Okay. I keep doing that. I keep doing that. Notes. Okay. Wait, what was in notes? 
Or was it journal? I don't know. Okay, He's let's probably in the admin building. Let's go piss off Vin. Wait, what? Thank you so much for deleting that picture, Max. I don't often get the benefit of the doubt. I didn't do it for you, Lucas. If anyone, I did it for your kid. Honestly, that's even better. He doesn't deserve what happened. If you're available, Max, I've acquired an extra ticket to the Burlington Expo. To clarify, this is strictly an invitation from a colleague. I have no interest in your besides that. I can't make it. <laughs> Sorry, I'm swamped at the moment. How about I bring I you back a toe? I'm really grateful if he deigns to be this nice to me. <laughs> That's funny. I feel like everybody probably decided to call her out on that, didn't they? I wanted to be kind of different, but I was just like, I ain't finna get the information I want. Or maybe I could have. Hey, sports. Oh. You're just gonna walk past me without saying hello? Uh, unforgive. Please don't let this be weird. Oh, what a terrible mistake. Whatever shall I do? I'm hurt, but I'm sure you can make it up to me. Uh, what are we I'll doing? I'll think of something. <laughs> anyway, hi, Amanda. What are you doing on campus? Just going on a coffee run but your coffee's better at the turtle this one tastes like ass enough about me what are you doing here i work here <laughs> no, i mean i just saw you talking to president fayad what were you talking about i feel like amanda's cool Amanda's cool. I was asking her about Safi and her relationship with a student named Maya Okada. Oh. <laughs> Why? It's kind of a long story, but it's for something important. This guy's always falling for you, isn't it? <laughs> you have no idea. Well, I'll leave you to your something important. See you around, tiger. See you, Amanda. He's probably in the admin building. Which way is the admin building? Bro, I don't know. I think it's the other way. Yeah. What should I say this time? It's okay to extend yourself a little grace. It's more than okay. It's essential. I probably should have went and listened first. Because I think last time I heard something somebody else said. I know I should say something. It's just, it took me so long to get into the society. I'll be damned if I quit because of one little comment. Still, if I don't speak up, who will? Ugh. I swear, if it was anyone else in charge, I'd feel a little bit better about all this. I don't know. The society. Was she talking about Abraxas? That's what it sounds like. I never walked in here. Just looking. And then she didn't. Please remember to lock the door when you're done grading. Oh, this is Sophie's place. Dang. Toffee must be a grading machine. I 
Oh, so you ain't got no dialogue? All right. Uh, you're right. I was just trying to be nosy. Dang, the admin building ain't that way either? Where in the world is the admin building? All right. Yeah, sometimes it be hard to play as Max because she's just nosy in a way that I'm just not. Like, I'm more of a, I'm a listen type nosy. And I don't need to fish for information for real, but like, man, like, I be feeling bad asking these people these questions. Just gonna ignore how it just ran into that wall. Let's just try to look around. Hi, Vin. I don't know this Vin as well, but let's see what I can do. Right? Like, we hey, can fix them all. Um, Yasmin's out right now. Sorry to disappoint. Unless you're here for me. In which case. I'll do my best to be of service. Do you talk like this to everyone who comes to <laughs> Yasmin's office? <laughs> I've never like met a pissed real. off board member I can't defang with a little eyebrow action. Oh, okay. How long you worked here? How long have you worked in the president's office? Right after graduation. The summer stock festivals wept because they couldn't have me. But Kahuna needed me right away. I thought you might have worked here when you were still a student. <laughs> you know, back when Maya Okada went here. Wow. You know Maya's name. Am I supposed to collapse under the weight of that revelation? Uh, no. You're supposed to talk to me like a human being about what happened with her. What do you need me for, super sleuth? You're obviously capable of digging up ancient gossip on your own. Now, Yo. if you'll excuse me, Gwen's hearing completely scrambled Kahuna's schedule. No casual chat about Maya. Noted. Yeah, there's no good way to go about that, Max. See, there was even a point, man. I should have just let her have it. Looks like somebody had their last stand. Man. Damn. Ben's the most popular class on campus. Excuse me? Ah! Oh, okay. <laughs> Jeez. Why is Yasmin talking about you, of all people, Ben? Am I supposed to be fine? Wait, what am I supposed to be doing? Dead World Diamond. Like, that got me nowhere. Other, maybe other Van was Bill? Probably. I think so. Wait a little bit more in, in touch. What the heck? Another Polaroid? The hedgehog, distant relative of the shrew, enjoys its rest after a full day's work for the kahuna. Just... don't break it? I could just get you a new one. It cost me like two dollars. She I bought him that? I want a new one. I want the one you gave me. Oh, gosh. Safi bought him that hedgehog? That's sweet. Uh-uh. There's no romance in Vienna. Unless we're gonna be like Veronica Mars. You know, if you know, you know. <laughs> Gosh dang, I wanted him so bad. <laughs> okay. No way. I don't like the looks of this guy. Too grim reapy. I mean, it just means kind of like isolation period almost. Now, what was you trying to say? Whatever. Say cheese, little guy. Aww. That's so cute.
<laughs> How nice of you to finally return my phone calls, Desmond. Oh. Damn the email. Thought you was a I don't blame Vin for wanting to ditch Caledon and get a fresh start. Wait, what? Oh, it's a resume. Damn. I don't like the looks of this guy. Too grim reap changing Yasmin's schedule must have been agonizing for both her and Vin. Somebody patched you up. Well, I'm glad one of us is feeling better. Aww. Okay, where the heck is Vin anyway? Why is Yasmin talking about you of all people, Vin? I wanted to talk to you about a breakfast and who should be leading it. Waiting until I'm down to try to kick me out, huh? I thought you were smarter than that. Oh no! Somebody abandoned their boy. Wait, keep talking. I just wanted to look at that. Is that all that they was gonna say? Maybe other Vin will spill. Whoa, Diamond was working on a documentary about Moses. I wonder why she never went through with it. Aww. That was not dirt on Vin. I'm sorry, Diamond. I didn't think this is what I'd find. Huh? Dear Moses, don't laugh, all right? I know what you think of therapy. The brain is unknowable and the soul isn't a thing. Your words, not mine. But this is an exercise, which means I shouldn't have to worry about you shredding my thesis. Funny, isn't it? Even when I'm writing something for my own emotional health in a letter that's only meant for me, I imagine your voice in the back of my head, always asking questions, always questioning. So here it is. All in this messy glory, I have feelings for you. There. Oh, I said it. I knew I was falling for you on our <laughs> trip to Everett. When you helped me find Orion, three bright stars, and you put your face close to mine. It was your first lecture. You were so warm on my neck. I didn't know about Tony then or about how much I want to be close to you after that. So, yes, I have feelings for you. Yes, I struggle with them every day, but I have to move on. You've got your love, and it's time I find mine elsewhere. Even if I don't want to, even if it's hard to, even though you're the first person I've liked that actually makes sense, I've had crutches before, bigger ones, I've tried sex, but I never really understood what it was like to actually want that with someone until, whoa, I don't, whoa, am I really supposed to give up being alone for, oh, diamond, damn, okay, I kind of no thought around. that, hey, I gotta talk to other Vin. Like, I thought, like, they was, like, couple in the beginning, but then I saw, like, the Tony stuff, so I was like, oh, okay, he got a boyfriend. But then I was like, okay, maybe they're, like, siblings. Maybe Why it's just that vibe. about you, of all people, Vin? Oh, okay, Diamond, uh, my bad. Don't mind us, Max. We were just finishing up. Vin, Abraxas needs new blood. You mean you need another line on your resume. Hold up. Can we talk? I just want to ask you about Maya. Oh, girl. Please. I can't handle the both of you. I'm trying to exploit my weak spots. Like, this is so bad. Max. Did I just witness a failed crown snatching? <laughs> you gotta seize the opportunities when you can. And hey, it almost worked. Really? Speaking of which... What's the deal with Maya? Isn't she the undergrad who died a while ago? The her? Why, do you know anything? Just that Vin looks like he's bitten to a lemon anytime someone says her name. So Maya makes Vin uncomfortable, huh? Let's find out why. There's gonna be a debate at the beginning of next semester. A special little pissing match for Vin and me. Vin usually runs for Abraxas president unopposed. But if I have the right piece of dirt, I bet I can make him step down. 
If I give her something juicy and then go to the other timeline, maybe I can listen in on Diamond confronting Vin? Huh? Um, we're gonna say this one. Vin gave a statement where he said Maya had mental health problems. Which may have been true, but I think there's more. What I'm saying is, someone let Maya down really badly. I don't get it. Were Maya and Vin friends or something? I'm not sure, but they definitely knew each other. And Vin gave a statement about her death. What a pompous little piece of shit. I'm sorry. He he's not Just that bad. Try not to go too hard on him, okay? He's not in the greatest place. Relax. I'm not Loretta. Can you do me a favor? Wait until I get out of here to bring this up with him. You got it. I won't jeopardize your getaway. This Vin's not going to tell me anything. Maybe the other one has looser lips. If I'm going to listen in on this Are conversation, you sure? I need to cross to the other side. Update. I thought I hit a wall with the Alderman, but then I got a single ping for the, for the name Alderman in Lakeport area. There's a bizarre report from four years or so years ago about a widow named Miss Marjorie Alderman, who'd be in her late 60s now. I'm still reading through it. And I'll reach out to you once I've made sense of it. I'm all ears. Would Alderman's mother know what happened to her son? Diamond noticed Finn reacts whenever Maya's mentioned. Question we both want to know is why. Okay. Hi, Vin. Where are they? Oh, they're right here. Can you let a man get stale cup of coffee in peace? No. Because here's the thing. I didn't want to bring this up before, but I know about the statement you made. About Maya. You told people she had mental health issues, but that wasn't the whole story, was it? Wow. Oh no. Bring that up in the debate. There's not going to be a debate. I'm dropping out of the race. You're just 
gonna let me see the head of a brat Like that? Vin met Maya in Lucas's class, and he also knows something about the cow skull through Sophie's windshield, which conveniently made Lucas look guilty. If I can pressure the other Vin, maybe he'll tell me what the hell is going on here. Jeez. Jeez, man. Okay, what do you want me to do? Okay, living world. Man. Oh, gosh. I know. I know you're busy. <laughs> Give me just a minute of your time. This better be worth it. I don't know, man. Yasmin gave you this job as a favor, didn't she? For talking to a reporter who was writing about Maya's death? Didn't your parents ever teach you to not bring up people's dead friends for no reason? There is a reason. I promise. Please, enlighten me. It might not make a lot of sense, but I'm trying to help someone, and that means learning about Maya. Maya's been dead for years now. She can't help you or anyone else. Just go with me for a second, okay? <laughs> okay. All right. You said in your statement that Maya was troubled. But that wasn't true, was it? Finn, what really happened? Please don't tell me Sophie killed her, bro. Or that they think she Ask did it. Lucas Colmanero. What? In his class. What? What is he this telephone? Has blood on his hands. Whoa, what? You're not saying Lucas killed her? Not literally, but The man deserves every misfortune that befalls him. Oh. Like, for example, if Sophie suspected him of tossing a cow skull through her windshield? No more free secrets. I have a reputation to protect. I guess I could reveal one of the other secrets I know. And what would that be? Dude, does he owe me a favor in this world? Does he owe me a favor in this world? You owe me a favor? You owe me a favor, remember? Because of your package. My... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, never mind. Shit. That's in the other timeline. Okay. Get it together, Max. Never mind. Uh, th never mind. <laughs> yeah, never mind. I. Lucas filed a restraining order. He won't tell her that. I don't want to say you and Sophie were together. I'm sorry. What I just if don't. I told you that Lucas filed a restraining order against Sophie? Will I say that Lucas is less dumb than I thought? So was that a shiny enough info nugget or not? I don't think so. Very shiny. Oh, it was? All right. So was the cow skull you or not? <sighs> yes. So but why? Why? I mean, you've seen a pissed off Safi before. She's like a force of nature. When I heard her book got squashed, I seized an opportunity to aim her at a deserving target. So you were what? Protecting Gwen? 
That's as much as you get. And now I really do have to get back to work. Huh. But, Caulfield, whatever the real reason is for you digging up old history, be respectful to Maya. She suffered enough while she was alive. I'm just kind of laughing about that package part. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Max, don't need to knock. My door's always open. Come on in. I want to show okay. you something. Okay, okay. What do you want to show me? What did you do, Lucas? I'm going to ask you some uncomfortable questions. It wasn't me, but man, I wish it could have been. Oh my gosh. I'm so good. To <laughs> next day, I wish it could have been me. Oh my gosh. To rock. To my rock, my light, and my favorite drinking buddy, Claudia. Thank you for being my wife. Without you, I'd still be crying alone in the bar in Kansas. Aww. Oh wait, there was something else. Notes. I keep do freaking doing that. Oh my gosh. Okay, Safi. Okay, well, look, wasn't. When I asked Quinn about Safi, she wasn't as happy for coming to council because it was about her late friend Safi. What the hell did Safi write? Vin and Safi were hooking up. Safi and Marley, okay, and according to Moses, text me Vin's statement claimed that Maya's death was due to mental health issues. Swallowed secrecy. Vin issued a statement on Yasmin's, at Yasmin's urging to secure his uh, position as her assistant. Yasmin knows about Safi's book deal, but does she know it was canceled? Yasmin sees surprise concern that Safi's book deal was canceled. They seem closer lately, and I thought Safi would have told her. Um, what? Oh, I'm supposed to be going behind the desk. Wait. Looks like someone had a party foul. What? Oh. Oh, it's just coffee. Uh, I'm a little preoccupied. Bro, what? What do you mean preoccupied? What did you want to show me? Take a look at that. A look at what? What are we looking at? A movie? Holy shit. Now I don't have to read the rest of the book. <laughs> Wait, I got some great news for you. Olympus Mons Pictures is interested in the film rights for Wilder, Wilder Beast Denise. I'll call you more details in the next step, so keep an eye out. Okay. Holy shit. He actually did it. Did I make the right choice? Should I have told Sophie about this? Why would I tell her about this? She probably don't need to be near the man anyway. So he did it. I think that's fine. I don't think that's bit that big of a deal to be honest. Cause if she break it ass on her, I'm like whatever, bro. A pen so fancy I'd be nervous to write with it. This is actually a really cool shot. I hope Robbie's doing okay. Yeah. Am I supposed to be looking at something else? Okay, restraining order, email. So did you want me to look at the restraining order? Looks like Lucas has been having some late nights. It's a temporary one. Oh, okay. I bought myself two weeks to find some solid evidence. I know you may not be thrilled. Safi's your friend. But it's giving me a lot of peace of mind, so... Thank you. Yeah, don't thank me, really. You don't have to thank me. It was none it of my business, bro. None of my business. Shouldn't have been looking through your stuff in the first place. I don't disagree. <laughs> no harm done. But I'm sure that's not why you came to my office. How can I help you, Max? You're not gonna like this. 
Well, how's Robbie doing now? How's Robbie doing? Still angry with me, but oh. we're making progress. That's good. I canceled a few things to go to his Taekwondo match. I think it made him happy. Oh, that's nice. So the movie deal. I don't mean to pry, but I couldn't help seeing that email from your agent. Oh, no worries. It's an incredible feeling getting chosen for the big screen. About time, right? <laughs> yeah, that's uh, cool. Just don't tell people yet. Okay, Max? These sorts of things, they have to be announced properly. I'm thinking at Krampus. No Krampus? Probably. I have a call with my agent later. I'll get the details then. Why aren't you at that Burlington book event? The book expo? I pulled out. Didn't seem important, what with everything happening to Robbie and all this. Okay, well, let's talk about Maya. I was wondering, what can you tell me about Maya Okada? Why do you ask? Uh, he, you must know why. Surely you know why I'm asking. Better than anyone else. I'm afraid I don't, actually. Oh, okay. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a phone call to take with my agent, <laughs> so if you can see yourself out. This is horrible. Sure. How am I supposed to find information about Maya? Well, I guess I need to get out of here and not snoop around his office. Ain't nothing stupid anyway. Well, that was a bust. Won't be able to snoop around in here either. Yeah, so what? What are we doing? Fuck. This doesn't look so great for Gwen. Professor's sitting on the table? How am I gonna find more information? Like, do I switch? Uh, Loretta. Hey, Loretta. Oh, hi, Miss Caulfield. How are you? Um, I'm working on your podcast. Are you working on your podcast. Yeah. I'm researching this really fascinating string of killings in West Germany in the late 80s. Oh, okay. See, there was this hospital. You'll have to tune in if you want to hear the rest. <laughs> I'll be sure to. Anyway. Uh, okay. Meet you later, Loretta. What the heck was that? Okay, that was it. Yeah, seems so. All right. I can't imagine being this trusting. Don't they know there's snoops like me around? I don't think that many people snoop as much as you would, Max. Be real. What you be doing is really bold and crazy. What is that? That's awesome. I should follow them for more info. Yeah, I don't know what to do. Broken if table. If we can't sit on tables, where are the cool kids expected to sit? In chairs? Like a <laughs> bunch of squares?
Is he in there? No. No, Lucas. Sounds like a great time to take a look around inside. I'm so done. This is... Oh my gosh, man. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Why'd they be leaving the offices right. unlocked? Let's see what I can find about Maya. Mm -mm. Definitely look at it through the drawer first. Looks like a fun read. I didn't know Lucas did fun. All right. We finna get caught in here too? That's probably his ex-wife. They look really happy here. What? What a strange place to find a key. Must be significant. Hmm. Seems like at least one student remembers Lucas fondly. Official report says Marjorie Alderman was device diagnosed with severe abnormal pains. A psychomatic response to an overwhelming grief stemming from the death of her husband. Detective Vince Alderman was never born and never existed, but the residue remains in its margins. The scientist in me is curious about the how of it all. But the black guy in a horror movie, he says it's better to leave this particular thread alone. <laughs> and then. <laughs> That's smart. That's science. I had to check. Just wish me. Just wish we could tell Sophie about this while never she. Existed, how the hell do Moses and I remember him? Because you saw him? I guess. We need to figure out. Figure this out before what happens to him happens to someone we care about, right? All right. Hmm. Should put some ice on that, Mr. Standy. Keep put it in his office. That's funny. Now he is think about me if I know it all. Isn't that sweet? I got some. Doesn't fit. So you can't sleep, baby. I know that's that me espresso. Oh gosh. <coughs> and the fried oh, switch it up like Nintendo. What? What's up with these power rods? <coughs> oh. They get in here jesus some of these items are priceless i've got a lot on my plate i don't need this right now where the hell's yasmin where's security first gwen's slashed tires now lucas's office what's going on in his timeline wait gwen has slashed tires <laughs> Pretentious, shiny, and probably hasn't typed a word in years. Kind of like Lucas. <laughs> There's a lock on this? Oh. That don't look like it fit. Oh, does it? Oh, it fits! A million miles beneath my feet. That's... Not what I was expecting. Isn't Wait, it? a million miles beneath my feet? I know this. 
Maya wrote this. Something less pointed, more metaphor. In that city, the beast rose and stared into me. It became me. I had always been the beast. But that was later. Now I was dribbling. Freezing cold on January morning. I took a step towards the moving truck. Glanced back at the people gathered on the car curb. And instantly understood what it felt like to drown. My parents were looking at each other. And... And Appa-san was looking at the ground. An outsider might see this obstinance, disapproval of my departure, but I knew they'd be crying and they didn't want to see me. These people own my soul, I thought. Separating from them was like trying to breathe water. All I could do was thrash. 18 is too young. Hana is only a girl, Appa-san said over dinner the night before, talking about me like I wasn't there. She's American, said my father. Like that explained it, we're all American now. All of us except my brother Kaito. He had his job in Tokyo. Not even the wild horses could drag him from Japan. Those same wild horses that took me away from the only home I had ever known. Across 200 miles of highway to a city with a beast at its center. Where inside that labyrinth, the people who own my soul would have it torn away from them. This notion of displacement would translate no matter the country. What the heck? Come on, there's got to be a copy in here. Maybe ten of them. Holy shit. It's the same. Wait. Wait! Carolina is only a... Wait! The bees... <laughs> oh no. Oh no! Is this Lucas's book? Okay, even if he steals people's works, I feel like he doesn't, he deserves to know that his child is safe or feel like his child is safe. I'll say that at the least. Whatever beef that Lucas and, and Safi got going on, I ain't involved in that, but this is wild. Now I was trembling, freezing on a cold. It took us. She's American, my. F All of us, except my brother. Old what the hell? Finn was right. Lucas does have blood on his hands. Oh, this gosh. This is what I've been missing this entire... Oh, I didn't even mean to take that. Girl, whatever, girl. I have to talk to Safi. I, I was trying to zoom in. Wait! Safi, hey... Stay strong, Habibti. You know where to find me. What's happening? Are we okay? Is something wrong? Oh. You want to talk to me now? I've got nothing to say to you. Yeah, Sophie, I figure. What? Did you spread my business to someone else? Dig up a couple more clues? What are you talking about? Shit. She knows I've been asking questions. I'm not sure who you've been talking to, but I have a good reason. Oh, you have a good reason. Well, in that case, what's your good reason, Max? Oh, gosh. Well, I can't, I can't tell you. Because I'm trying to help you sounds crazy. I actually... Can't tell you right now. Of course you can't. Great. Fucking sick, Max. I don't have the energy for this. I think you should leave me alone for a while. Maybe a long while. Well, she had gotten pissed regardless. If, if I asked her mom, uh, confront her mom or not. I 
I think so. At least, I think I did. Chloe's probably partying. She'd pick up from me. But it's not up to her to take care of me anymore. I was about to say, you really finna call her? Gosh dang. I can't just sit here feeling sorry for myself. I need some company. I could ask Amanda to help me drown my sorrows. There are a lot of creeps in the world and Lucas Calmonero is one of them. He acts like he's dignified, but he's a user. Jervison was all charmed too until he wasn't. No matter how kind he acts, what he did was an abuse of power, and Maya's dead because of it. Who knows what Lucas is capable of. I feel sorry for Robbie to have such an asshole for a dad. I feel sorry for Safi, too. So many people fell here, including me. Good business tonight, or the dishwasher is broken. Hi, Van. Come here often? <laughs> Probably too often. Join me? yourself <laughs> rough day everybody hates me mm -hmm. I'm annoying I'm bothering to everyone Colleagues, Moses, Toffee. Toffee used to get pissed at me too. Are you crazy? Toffee was obsessed with you. Uh, she would talk about you all the time. I was always jealous. I mean, um. Don't hurt yourself. I know about you and Toffee. I should have told you. <laughs> Why are you saying that? Why do you think you should have told me? It, it's fine. We didn't really know each other. There's been a lot going on. And it's not like we're besties or anything. Right? Like, it kind of really wasn't my business. I wasn't her boyfriend or anything. And it ended a while ago. Yeah, I figured that. I guess I had this idea that we'd make up eventually. That's sad. <laughs> Any other deep, dark secrets you've disinterred from my past? I know what happened to Maya. <laughs> Price, Matt. <laughs> I was joking. And I know what you did after she died.
young, I was an asshole, and I didn't want to end up working at my parents' liquor store until they shriveled up and died. Well... Does the past version of you ever feel like... I don't know... An alien? S like... The shit that person cared about is so worthless. You can't even remember being them. Yeah, I, I get it, man. That sounds like a shitty spot to be in. Especially right out of undergrad. Right? Here I was with the chance to be uh, salaried, health insured, even fucking 401k. Like, he knows it was wrong, so I ain't no point of saying this mess up. Talk shit. Which I'm good at. down the vibes <laughs> I need to be more drunk <laughs> see you made yourself right at home I blame Vin for me, even discounting her utter lack of interest in my gender. <laughs> hey, principles can be hard. Uh. <laughs> I'm serious. I will write you an essay. Passion is very sexy. No, no, you're right. Passion is sexy. Like your buddy. The big guy. The <laughs> Moses? I'm so Once, funny. I asked him how his day was going, and he explained to me the double slit. <laughs> it was weirdly hot. Oh my gosh, Vin! <laughs> oh my god, you're saying you wouldn't? He's my friend! No. This would be extremely friendly. Uh uh. Moses. No. Smash? Absolutely not. I'm passing, bro. That's. Nah. He's a friend. Nah, man. He's too weird. More for me. <laughs> Vin! I'll say this for Caledon. It's got a high ratio of fungal fat. Oh my gosh! Dr. Hunter, for instance, <gasps> interested. Doctor. Hmm. I don't know. I don't. <laughs> She's cool, but like. Pass. She has a wife. So do a lot of people. <laughs> Don't let your dreams be you did. You are so messy. This is funny. Uh, hold up. This is smash or pass. Not have a healthy, long-term relationship in two and a half kids or pass. I'm so weak. I'm not asking if you want to marry. I know. Just... Just... <laughs> oh. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> How would you answer? Professor Coleman. Oh, no. heck no. He sucks. Does he now? <laughs> oh my god. You suck. Hey, I'm just I'm just trying to think of people we both know. Lucas. Smash or pass? Absolutely pass. Heck no, nah, man. Pass. Pass. He's a dick. <laughs> and yet I've put up with worse for less. <laughs> okay, my Yeah, turn. right? My you answer my questions. Yes, me. <laughs> <laughs> unfair. Why? <laughs> because then I'd have to engage a lot of figures. Oh my gosh. Really? 
I would not have pegged you for the tight. Oh, yeah. What would you peg me for? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I couldn't get... Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Fine. My turn again. Let's see. Who do we both know? Oh, no, nah, man. Don't say Reggie. No. Nah. My student's off limits. Off yeah, limits. absolutely. Off limits. Well, as I am one. <laughs> Not your students, which appear to be your two students. Gosh. Come on. So, about me, Miss Caulfield, where do I fall on the bike? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh. Whoa. Oh, damn. Oh, oh my gosh. Why are you in my ear like that, Vin? Thanks, Vin. Oh. I really. My, my earphones messed up for a minute. I, I want to hear. Yo, looks like he fell in love with me. Hold up. Take it easy. Or maybe guys. we're just drunk. You know, I don't know. <laughs> ah, I'm done. Da, da, da. Gotta go. Oh, I'm gonna take a picture of you. Just one for the road. Sorry to kiss and run, Ben. Should I talk to Amanda? <laughs> Are you gonna take the visionary venture cake? Hi, Amanda. I'm supposed hey. to give them an answer by tomorrow. Wow. So, and? Ben, huh? Oh, shit. I'm still messing up. Hey, it is what it is. Pasta for him since he wasn't really eating. Hey, hey, girl. Hey, you lost your chance. I would have, I would have been loyal if you hadn't. Hey, look, I shouldn't have even asked her out knowing I wasn't into her in the first place. That's my bad. Be honest, bro. What am I doing? Sorry, Amanda. Cause you ain't finna get none in this world if I got the option. Cause I ain't doing that. Hey, sport. Working hard or hardly working? Sport. You cosplaying as a boomer dad today? <laughs> hey, you said it first. I doubt it. The old sport is more my style anyway. Finals week, isn't it? Everyone that's come in here lately has that same frazzled look. A drink to ease your troubles. Shot, please. Are we wanting a gasoline on fire flavor experience? Or a sickly sweet rated grandma's liquor cabinet kind of taste? Girl, I don't even know what that means. Let's do gasoline. I want to burn my throat off. Shitty mezcal? All of the smoke. None of the dip. Taste buds are overrated. Also, hold on. Make some of uh, oh, shit. I'm still messing up, huh? Girl, she friend zones you. How are we feeling now? <sighs> like, <laughs> like I keep thinking I've hit rock bottom. 
But then I realize I'm still falling. <gasps> you are such a disaster. Oh God, I certainly have a type. Oh, okay. You need more than a drink. Let's hang. Get in trouble. Don't you have a bar to tend? We don't need to leave the turtle to have fun. Remember that date we were gonna? Uh, go let's not. What do you say we have that date? How about no? What are we gonna do? Kidnap the members of Revenge Horse and force them to play here? As if. Revenge Horse only plays house shows. We might not be able to go to a show for real, but we can always pretend. Really? I guess? Bitch, shut your dumb eyes. <laughs> okay, day. We pull up to my buddy Eddie's house. We call it the rat hole best house shows in Lakeport. Revenge Horse goes on at 11, but at the rat hole, that means midnight. The place is packed. We can smell Granite Joe smoking a blunt out back, and Eddie waves to us from a table full of scary merch. Scary merch? Hold up. Why is the merch scary? We approach the merch table. It's covered in stickers and pins, and they're all of this horse that looks like it was, quite frankly, drawn by a toddler, and yet it's powerful. No matter where you stand, it stares into your soul. Sick as hell. I buy a sticker. You now have <laughs> one sticker. Okay. Hey, do I hear the band doing a sound check downstairs? Ahead of schedule? Let's check it out. <laughs> Careful, the stairs are steep. <laughs> Revenge Horse opens with my favorite song. Fuck, Mary kill. And a mosh pit opens in the smoky dark in front of the stage. Sure, let's thrash. She's trying to have fun, so. Let's thrash. Shaka, bruh. Okay. Let's pretend you said something normal, but basically that. <laughs> we throw ourselves into the crowd. <laughs> all right, y'all look crazy. But, you know, it's all about having fun. Probably immediately get a black eye. Oh, then I fight us away back to the bar and get you an ice pack. <sighs> <sighs> I only need one eye to see the show anyway. <laughs> hey, the singer. Is she a stage diver? I mean, in so much as you can call a thrifted area rug a stage, sure. <laughs> she sets her guitar down and takes a running leap towards the crowd. I catch her. I run over to the spot where she would land. Wait, don't you have an ice pack in one hand? Oh. Oh, it looks like a dropper. Yes, I do. <sighs> Shit. I hope you're prepared for what happens next. Don't tell me that the singer, that she. Stone Cold Dead on the floor. What? But don't worry, this is how she would have wanted to go out. Okay. We, leave, we each receive an invitation to her Viking funeral. Okay. That was the wildest show I have ever seen. <laughs> or like, talked about. Told you it'd be worth it. And you're walking away with, let's see, one terrifying horse sticker, some bruises, from moshing 
and an invitation to a Viking funeral. <laughs> if that was just the dry run, imagine what the real Revenge Force show is going to be like. It's been a buck wild thing. But that made me feel like, I don't know, maybe tomorrow my existence will make things worse for everyone around me. saying that about your day what happened you about to tell her I guess so why are you so nice to me shit I'm doing it again the therapist says I latch on to people too quickly but what am I supposed to do when I gel with someone? Act like a bitch? <laughs> At this point, you saying one mean thing would make me dissolve into a puddle of tears. Hey. I have never made a girl cry on a first date before. And I don't want to start now. <laughs> Look, what can I say? I have a thing for emotionally unavailable women. You're not saying I'm... You're literally in my bar talking about yourself like you're a category five hurricane. Um. Sorry, did I do something wrong? No, no. I really, really want to kiss oh, you. Oh, that's too um, bad. That's, that's too bad. It's just that I, like I said, I tend to go for women who don't feel the same way about me. And I need to know I'm not just projecting. So, you... Ah, uh, you know. Sorry, Amanda. That hurt me. Why did you say you kissed me first? Girl, I'm pulling away. I'm really sorry, Amanda. I don't think I can. I like you a lot. But my life is in shambles right now. And it wouldn't it be fair to bring you into it? Fuck. <laughs> I just did the same thing I, right. <laughs> that she did to me, basically, I think. No, I wish you weren't. Maybe another time we can make this work. Yeah, no, it's not gonna work. Yeah. Another time. It's not gonna work, babe. I'm sorry. Good luck. <laughs> Well, I should get back to it. Thank you for everything. I feel like I really hate that I asked her on a date. That's the one thing I really regret, regret playing this game. I wish I would have went back. My dumb ass would do it again, too. But I wasn't going to go back just to change one choice, you know? don't want to be alone but I'm not sure there's anyone else to talk to fuck maybe I should just head home for the night so any idea what you're gonna do do I'm not gonna do anything well obviously
obviously doing nothing is making me miserable. If I was at home, I could get wasted. But they won't serve me here. Amanda Carr. Alcohol isn't a solution. I don't need a lecture. Well, good. My dad's the preacher. <laughs> no. Tell him what? How you feel. Are you bananas? That's the last thing I'm gonna do. But you have to see him every day. How are you gonna get over him? I'm not. You gotta be solution oriented, Donna. Nobody should have let you take those business classes. <laughs> this is why I keep telling you that you just need to get laid. Get him out of your system. She already uh, tried it. I keep telling you that doesn't help. That's not what I'm looking for. I'm not saying go out and find your soulmate. I'm saying, you know, a, a long way. That does. That just doesn't. Work like for she me. just said, that doesn't work. I guess it's just different for guys. It's not a gender thing, Reggie. I think. I think I'm just built different. It's dumb, holding on to impossible futures. It's self-destructive. Excuse me, that's funny coming from somebody who's slipping and falling into bed with the spawn of. Ooh, people. you, uh, he, we. That's not the same. You want to talk about impossible futures, Reggie? Do you think he's ever gonna get serious? Sort of relationship we have. And I'm fine with it. Are you sure? Yeah. Sounds like you're doing real fine. All right. Okay. Yeah, living world Vin is definitely off limits. Hey, Max. Hi. Oh, fuck. <laughs> That's about the level of greeting I'm expecting at this point. You okay? Everything's fine. She fell in love with the wrong person. Reggie, what happened to the bro code? Max is a bro. <laughs> you ever have a thing for the wrong person? Who has it? Show me someone who hasn't, and I'll show you a liar. Or However that saying goes. That's deep, Max. I didn't think I wanted anybody before. Reggie says I should move on, and he's right. I just... I haven't felt this way about anyone, ever. I don't know if I will again. Girl, you will. Just give it time. Give yourself some time. Life has a way of surprising us. Really hope you're right. That's crazy, though. You're sitting there uh, imagining um, yourself in. Can I speak to Amanda? It's kind of awkward. Just pretend like I'm not even here. Sure. not trying to do that uh leave the bar in the living world oh you want me to leave in the living world okay the only thing i wanted for christmas this year was to introduce my baddie bia to my friends at grandpa's but i don't think santa can can do it that i don't know maybe moses and diamond do need to get together because what the heck is tony talking about I said I would try you though, but you know I tried. I just couldn't make it work this time. I'm not Diamond trying to still, still, <laughs> trying to be Mr. Steal Your Man. Oh my gosh. I wish Zafi gave me a moment to explain. Uh. <laughs> uh, 
Okay, so you want me to leave in the living world. I don't know why, but alright. Holy eyes for the bad boy. I'm so weak. Wait! What the hell? Who broke into my space? My house. Wait, the cat is here, isn't it? We now return to your regularly scheduled fuckery. What the heck? No, who was in here? Oh, gosh. Oh, God. This is bad. Bro, who's out here? Or did they just leave? What the heck? Whoever was here really messed this place up. What were they looking for? Max, I just found revenge horses coming in spring. Would you like to go in real life? I'd love to, but what? Kind of a little doing something, man. Let me get back to you. Sure, you okay? Yeah, nothing I can't handle. I thought she was talking about me for a second. I was like, girl, are you serious? Dang, don't know why they like me, do they? So Vin, oh wow, I can't see I expected that at all. But drunk or not, I think I deserve a pleasant surprise like that, don't I? I think Sophie will understand, won't she? I guess it's not like she could protest in the timeline where it happened. And it's not like I planned this, it just happened. Or maybe I thought about it. Jesus, Max. Let yourself enjoy a kiss for one smash. <laughs> it's hard not to imagine what you'd say, Chloe. What would Vin being the first guy I kiss forever and forever and all? Okay. Wait. I'm hearing that thing again. Of course I am. Um... So, look. Looks like whoever was here is gone now. Thank God. But what were they looking for, man? <gasps> that gotta be the cat, right? Maybe not the best time for a photo op, but you're so cute. I can't resist a cat on a fridge. Hey, say meow. Fair enough. All right. Oh? Hey, you're okay? What happened? Did you see who came in? Oh. 
Hey now, I bet your claws were sharper than theirs. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Come on, jump. I'll catch you. Uh, okay. You stay up there then. Gather your thoughts. Man, I couldn't deal with no animal hissing at me, bro. Mm -mm. I'm good. I don't need an article. I see the wreckage every time I close my eyes. Oh, they're still here. Oh, shit. They're still here. I can't let them go through my investigation stuff. Everybody knows that bad shit happens in basements. Lord. Uh, is there anything else in here that I need to look at? They can't go without me finding Does this them. person want something with Safi? If they're still here, this must not have been what they were looking for. This asshole must be after something other than just destruction. Alright, who's in here? Please don't attack me, person down here. Oh my gosh, I'm scared. You should have came down here with a weapon. I don't know why you came down here without a weapon! Wait, is that me? <gasps> oh, shit. Yo. Okay, you just freeze. Okay? I don't know what the fuck is happening but until i do you're staying put right where you are yeah that really doesn't work for me what <laughs> what the heck are you even i guess touching each other is out of the question you know bad idea or maybe it isn't Are we? Re oh my gosh! <laughs> there better be no dog on quick times. So I'm gonna be sick. Is it? Oh my gosh! Damn it! Well, so now much, so much for that. How do I get across? Go across. Imagine if I had to cross it and it was a death scene. If I <laughs> if I messed up. Hmm. 
no doorways to the other world on this side of the log. I need to find a way to track her from this timeline. Dang, how much? Okay. Still running and running, running and running, running and running, running. And running, running and running, running. Just right there. I almost got her. Never being wet again. Stop running. Stop. For fuck's sake, just stop. All right. You caught me. Now what? <laughs> now what? Speak. Girl, where did you come from? Where did you even come from? You're from the future? Is this what's been going on with you? <laughs> that you've completely lost the plot? Huh? I don't understand. Why were you in my house? What are you looking for? What are you looking for? Uh. All that stuff in your dark room? About Lucas? About Ben? about Gwen? Shit you have no reason to know about or care about. Don't. Don't you care about it? Wait, what? But you Yeah, that's what I'm too. trying to figure out. You care too. Don't we want to We same clearly thing? don't though. Absolutely fucking. Yeah, not. that's why I wanted to know. What is your motive? Stop. Please. We can't touch each other. I've seen what happens. Please, trust me. Trust you? Go fuck yourself, Max. Whoa. No! Oh. Bro, isn't this a thin ice? Oh my gosh. So where are you going? Oh my gosh. Oh jeez. Bro, get off of this doggone ice! Come on! Oh! 
Oh my gosh, get up. What is happening? Did we just rewind? What the fuck was that, Supermax? Come on. Let's get you warm. I always said you were too soft for academia. No, I was right originally. I thought it was so I thought it was Sophie that did it. Oh my gosh. No, I see. I thought maybe it was Sophie like as Max, but I didn't want to say it and look stupid if it wasn't because it seemed like everybody had doppelgangers. I see it. I said, what the heck is Sophie's doppelganger doing? So, this is Sophie. This is Sophie messing up everybody. This is... But why? I want to see a shapeshifter. Okay. So now this is making a little bit more sense. Okay. But also not at the same time. So we know she got beef with Lucas for good reason. So she went and told his son those things. And then she got Gwen uh, caught up with them drugs because Gwen canceled her book deal. Okay. <laughs> Yasmin distrusts you and your relationship is now shat shattered. Oh, so a lot of people actually went go with it. I pulled away. Didn't get the opportunity. Who didn't get the opportunity? Yep, I kissed him. I kissed him. <laughs> yeah, he's spitting. I was like, he fell in love with me. Okay. I got it right. Everybody got it right. Y'all must have been paying attention because I sure wasn't. I promise. Wrong timeline, Laura. Wait, what? Wrong. Max didn't mix her per Loretta's. Max changed the phone guys great. Max left phone guys great alone. Phone. Project installation. Max talked to the future and heard from the past in the phone line project. Max told Vin that Lucas won a restraining order against. Yeah, I was like telling him that. I feel like that was wrong. Feeding Diamond Info. Yeah, okay. I ordered something strong for Amanda. I did not reflect. Smash or pass. Uh, Max would smash. <laughs> oh my gosh, Max would smash some of her colleagues. Max would smash all of her colleagues. Max would pass on all of her colleagues. Max did not play. Grease trap perish while the girl surfing. <laughs> and true to alert. Max found the intruder. Using only her powers? Wait, what? Max found the intruder using only clues? Huh? Max found the intruder using her powers and clues? Wait, what? Man, I'm trying to keep playing. I want to keep playing so bad. I probably am. High key. See, I, I somewhat had it. And I don't be analyzing stuff like that. I said for so long that I could go home They mm -hmm. tap at the, the windows and, and think they were phones They have some that breaks and <laughs> Okay, oh, uh, I hope this video was fun for you I hope it was entertaining I hope it was good background noise Um, 
whatever this video was for you i hope it was positive and i'll see you in the next video of life is strange double exposure bye i do not trust you don't trust myself but someone was listening when i called for help